Here we are, back at the O2, as you look for a, a record-breaking eighth Premier League crown. Still excited coming back here for these days? Of course, it's always nice, especially to perform in, the, in front of big crowds. It's always really important, I think. Uh, and that still motivates me, because you used to, when I'm still working on that stage, in front of other people, I still enjoy what I do. And that's, I think, really important. Talk about the motivation there. Are you even more motivated right now? Because we've seen you change equipment. We've seen Vincent back, and Vincent spoken on Beer Play about him. He, he's trying to get you fired up, and you're working. We work really closely uh, to, to, to <coughs> put me back in the spot where I have to be. And uh, no, and that goes well, I think. And of course, it's not uh, a one-day one job, but you have to keep remaining, keep doing the same thing constantly. And then I think things can be in a good place. We saw the equipment change last week, going back yeah. to the, the, the darts that you won. I d only decided the day before. Yeah. What made you go back to those particular ones, though? Mm. It's di different circumstances, to be fair. Uh, in venues, I, well, I was already thinking, I already played with a heavier set of darts in the Pro Tours before. Day one when I lost to Steve Beaton, but the first few legs I played absolutely phenomenal. Then I missed a few doubles, like I did more often this year than I wanted. But um, I think the, the moment and the place was was there to do it. And uh, uh, sometimes I also change something, not just for a day permanently, can help you in a uh, and put you make you a little bit more sharper. But this starts they're flying well, they come. The, the, group, the, group, uh, the grouping is good and that's what you want. The rest you have to do it yourself. Are they here to stay? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not changing anything like a lot of other dark players do. So for me, when I do something, you have to think about and make the right decision for yourself. and uh, Never doubt on your own decisions. You've been very vocal about the Premier League format and the way you guys play each other yeah. all the time. Has maybe the Premier League finals might lost a bit of shine because you've played each other so often this year? Mm, I don't think so. The, the Premier League are finals on their own stands as a different tournament. That's how I see it. Because it's different format, different kind of atmosphere. It's, you can't compare with, it, uh, with each other. But uh, yes, indeed, we played each other a lot of times. But yeah, tomorrow, it's, uh, I think every player will agree it's, uh, it's totally different. Regardless of whether you win tomorrow or not, would you like to see a change to next year's format then? Mm, yeah, yes and no. Uh, I, my preference, of course, is playing one time uh, on a night against the top players. Uh, but I can also understand for the people in the venue that want to see a winner this year, uh, more games. I can also understand it from that perspective. But I just need to do one thing: is play my own games and uh, whatever. Uh, the form of this, it's now in my hands anyway. Looking at tomorrow, you come in not as the favourite. Same as last year. Exactly, exactly the same as last year. Last time you had a bit of an injury. Do you feel that all eyes on Luke and Luke actually does you a favour at the moment? Mm, still no one will back against me. At least maybe a tanner, but no big <laughs> one. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? So uh, I... I I need to look for my own ability tomorrow and my own uh, focus on the games, and I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm, yeah, last week I feel, I feel, I feel comfortable, so that's good. Michael, thank you very much. You're welcome. Michael, you mentioned that you and Vincent are working to try and get you to back. Look like, you, look, you look like uh, Humphreys more and more now these days. <laughs> I, think, I think it's an insult to Luke Humphreys more than it is to me. <laughs> Um, you mentioned that you and Vincent are working to get back to where you should be. So how far away now are you to, to where you think you should be? Mm, six, seven percent, I think. We're still more in the tank and I still I have to be... Uh, I still make too many mistakes here and there, but you need to start somewhere. And it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, so this is not a one-day job. You, you need to keep repeating and remaining... Uh, this all the time, and that's not easy, but you have to you have to aim for it. You're looking for an unbelievable eighth Premier League title, and we've seen in the past few years top players, world champions, really struggle with the Premier League. What is it? What is it about this tournament where it brings the best out in you, and you seamlessly seem to 
I, I, like, I, like, I like the tournament a lot. I think it's good to perform week after week against the best players in the world and on the highest level. And that's what you want to do. That's what drives me, that's what makes me motivated. So in, if you look to the, in that case, for, for me, the only thing I want to do is perform well tomorrow. And what everyone else says, does, I don't care. I need to perform tomorrow. In the final four, you're playing Luke Humphreys. Yeah. It's a player who's beaten you six times in a row, which yeah. is not normal for you. You're normally giving that record nah. to someone else. Does that affect you? Is that on your mind? It's, it's like two... No, it doesn't affect me at all, because I, I, I know where I'm in at the moment. I didn't have my best last seven, eight weeks. And when you play each other so many times against also some... So I, I'm here, when someone is playing that, yeah, skin out of his body at the moment, yeah, and then when you meet, yeah, and when the, you don't have... When you're not playing your A game sometimes, then then it can work against you, and then you're gonna lose a few times against uh, against someone. But I don't really care. Tomorrow is totally different. Michael, good luck for tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Michael, you mentioned a few times about working closely with Vincent. Can you tell us what sort of things you've been working on? Is it more technical? Yeah, loads, loads like of time. Things? Also technical. Uh, we trust each other. It makes it a lot more easier. Uh, he knows about darts. He know he he's been on circuit for a long time. Uh, and we are really good friends, so the, uh, you need to have the right people around you. They're always from that people you have uh, believe in. You know what I mean? People can tell you anything, but if people don't have any knowledge about what, you, what they're speaking about, it makes it a bit tough. But we we we've been uh, working also on my throw, on darts, on on also mentally, or just talking. You know what I mean? It doesn't always have to be about uh, specific things. For me, more important is that you feel comfortable with someone you, you talk, you know what I mean? And that, that I think, and I honestly believe, that can bring you further in the game. How much more do you feel you need to improve if you were to go and win the title tomorrow? Oh, it would be great, but we're still far away. I need to make sure I get all the spreads out of the way first, then I'm going back on the practice board for an hour, and then I'm gonna relax, do nothing till tomorrow. How would you reflect on the last 16 weeks? There's been ups and downs. A lot, a lot of them, a lot of them, yeah. No, I, I can reflect it very easy. I underperformed a lot of times and people say, yeah, in the beginning you played well. If you look week three, I beat Luke Humphreys in Glasgow, I think in the final, I played absolutely poorly. I beat them in the final with a 93 average. So that doesn't say anything. And then I, sometimes I, I lose with the 105 average. So, but that happens in this Premier League, that happens. and. There's no really time to reflect back on last week or two. That doesn't matter because it starts all again tomorrow. The fact that you can still win big games when you're not in the best, do you feel that's what sets you apart from the other players? Maybe. That's for other people maybe to judge about. Michael, Luke Humphries is world number one world champion. Yeah. Everyone's talking about Luke Winterdale. I would imagine as a piece of you, would just like to remind everyone that you are probably the best player on the planet this week. You'd be quite nice to... I have, to, I, have, I have to prove that tomorrow, simple as that. I still, yeah, I think Luke is probably the most consistent and best player at the moment. Littler, I think he underperformed the last few weeks, in my opinion. Uh, but you can also see it gets to him a little bit, but you know what I mean? The, the crowd gets on his nerves sometimes. He, uh, Humphreys, he's a bit more quieter. He's not the... Yeah, he's at the moment, he's a bit like a Yusik, isn't he? He's a bit the quieter, but still does the job. And I think that's that's uh, that's a talent of him as well, I think. Does it help the fact that you're the only one that builds one trophy as well? Maybe, yeah. Will be uh, 100%. Uh, at least yeah, I have a lot of experience, what I can use. And I've dealt with situations like this uh, loads of times. For me, only the only thing I have to do is tomorrow... Uh, Make sure my preparation right. Don't do everything right for yourself, what you want to do if, uh, before that game. And then the rest I have to, to do myself on the stage tomorrow night. Are you the man to beat because you've won this seven times before? Or you, are you, you the man you, to beat because you have to, you're still the best player on the planet? You need to ask the other players, I think. At the, mo at the moment, um, I think I underperformed in the in the last few months probably, but in reality tomorrow uh, is a different day and the, the price 
the prize is going to be given away tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Hi, Michael. Um, sorry, you still upset? No. Are you finished? No, they come back in a minute. They jump in and out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've won it seven times, as we've said. Sorry about the repetition. If there was any questions that got asked in Dutch, no was problem. terrible. But um, how do you stay so hungry? How do you stay so motivated? Well, because I love the game. I love performing on the stage. I don't like watching, but I like playing. And that's what, if you like something, it makes it a lot easier for you. And with regards to your performance this year, somebody said, some ups and some downs. And why do you think that was? Yep. <laughs> There's loads of things, but it's not really a particular one thing that's, you know what I mean? It's, it's just also the... the, the the moment you're in, and sometimes you have to accept it to, to, to make you hungry for maybe later in the season. So, so sometimes you don't know. You can't always find the explanation for, for, for not being your A game. And sometimes it doesn't just go your way as well. So sometimes you need to just stay quiet and relax a little bit, and then push back. For a man who's been here so many times, is tomorrow night one of, if not the strongest fields for that you've ever faced? No, of course not. Because I, uh, people say, people that are playing in this Premier League now, they say, oh, this is the best Premier League. In my opinion, the year with myself, Gary Anderson, former Raymond of Bonneville, James Wade, Adrian Lewis, Peter White, I think that was the best. But that's my opinion. Everyone has his own opinion. But if you look to the averages here, and they all Playing the, the the level is high, but I think darts in general, the level is keep keep getting better and better all the time. So that's good. So if the players aren't quite as strong, what about do you think? Well, no, no, not strong. I think there was more characters there. More characters, okay. And what about the eyes on the sport? Because coming off a world championship, which was so widely watched. It's a, it's, a, it's a huge, that is a huge timeline. If you go years, years back, yeah, you, you had to have Bristow, then after Phil Taylor, the Priestleys, the Barneys, the Andersons, the Van Gerwens, and now you got the Littlers and the, and the, the Humphreys. That's the way how, how that is. There's always someone standing up in any sport. To, to are you go feeling up. it getting more popular, Michael? Are you, are you feeling more eyes on the sport, more? Hype this yeah, but that's tomorrow. good. I think that's yeah. good, and that's in, in a few years time another thing will happen where there's m even more ice. That's the way our sport goes. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.